Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper, and TireRack.com. I'm here in the breathtaking French Riviera about to drive DB12, the world's first super tour. DB12 marks the first in Aston Martin's next generation of sports cars. Its sound is hypnotic and its style mesmerizing. Its performance handling and dynamics are what you would expect from a team competing successfully in Formula One, the pinnacle of racing. At the heart of DB12 is a four liter twin turbo V8, producing 671 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. That's roughly 150 more horses than the DB11 V8. Torque is also increased 34% to 590 pound feet. DB12's top speed is a reported 202 miles per hour, going from zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. As it should, all that power seeps into your psyche, shattering what you thought you knew about high performance tours. Its impressive performance is achieved in part by larger turbos, increased compression ratios, and improved cooling performance. The power from its V8 is fed through an eight-speed automatic transmission, and for the first time ever on an Aston Martin DB model, an electronic rear differential, able to transition from fully open to 100% locked in milliseconds. It works in conjunction with the brand's stability control system. The duo makes DB12 feel controlled at high speeds and nimble at low speeds, especially when coming around a corner. As I learned behind the wheel, it's almost like DB12 and its systems can read your mind. It's that intuitive and precise. Keeping all that power to the ground is a stiffer bonded aluminum chassis and an all new suspension system featuring intelligent adaptive dampers. Compared to the outgoing DB11, there's a 500% increase in bandwidth of force distribution, which provides a more controlled and refined ride across DB12's five drive mode settings, normal, sport, sport plus, wet, and individual. It's a comfortable ride in GT mode, and then when you put it in sport mode and sport plus, you really feel its sports car soul shining bright. My drive through the south of France was further enhanced in part due to DB12's new Michelin Pilot Sport 5S tires. DB12 marks the first OEM application of the tires, which I could feel were very special. The Michelin Pilot Sport 5S tires wrap around standard 21-inch forged alloy wheels available in a choice of three designs and a range of colors and finishes. Despite DB12's extravagance, its authenticity is apparent. DB12 honors the model's 75-year history and the Marquis' 110-year legacy. And the more I drove DB12, the more I felt connected to Aston Martin's rich history, which made me feel good and grounded. DB12's exterior is stunningly striking. Its front end is more prominent than DB11, signifying more power, accentuated by elegant hood lines. Its wider, muscular stance is framed by new LED headlights, and DB12 is the first to flaunt the brand new Aston Martin Wings badge, which I think looks incredible. The back of this sports car makes a statement and is exquisite and modern. After tackling the windy foothills leading to La Turbie, I wanted to find out how DB12 handled city streets, so I drove into Monaco. The House of Grimaldi has ruled over Monaco since 1297. It's the world's second smallest nation and famously the playground of the rich and famous. Monte Carlo is the most famous district in Monaco and home to the world's most famous casino.
To get the full French Riviera experience, I just had to drive DB12 through Casino Square in Monte Carlo. It's the star of the show, and as you can imagine, it's getting tons of looks. Some of the most legendary automobiles in the world hang out here. All proper touring cars must have the perfect interior. As expected, Aston Martin aimed high and achieved a spectacular total transformation. As you can see, the cabin is driver-centric with contemporary craftsmanship and a clean, impeccable design. The leather quality, graphic detailing, and new quilting symbolize ultra-luxury and are superb. Aston Martin's first in-house infotainment system is the centerpiece. Gone is the Mercedes-based system of the past. The bespoke multi-screen system operates through a 10.25-inch touchscreen. It's home to enough features as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I found the new infotainment system responsive and uncomplicated. DB12 does retain physical buttons for many key mechanical operations. Aston Martin's 11-speaker audio system is standard and a 15-speaker double-amplified surround system from Bowers & Wilkins is available as an option. DB12's luxurious performance presence driving short distances through the city or on longer journeys through the hills is remarkable and that's why Aston Martin believes DB12 defines its own category as the world's first super tourer. Surrounded by abundant opulence and tradition in Monte Carlo, Monaco, I felt compelled to take everything in, as I found out the area's legendary history, affluence, and originality is a reflection of DB12's essence. What an incredible time here in the French Riviera behind the wheel of DB12. The world's first super tour is on sale now in dealer showrooms. It starts at $245,000. We will have much more on DB12 soon on Motor Week.